we're going to be doing a little bit of maths on our fabulous new YouTube channel. So you should have all been able to see now the kinds of things that you're going to use today. Some Lego, some Numicon, some dice uh, and some Deans. Now you should have all had these through the post. Um, so hopefully you've been able to get prepared, ready for today's lesson. So what are we going to be learning about today? Well, we're going to do a little bit of counting. We're going to be counting in ones, twos and maybe even tens. And then we're going to be starting to think about place value. Ooh, I wonder what that means. And I think some of you already know what place value means. So let's get going. Okay, everybody. So I said that we were going to count in ones this morning. So I've got a number track here that's going to help me count from one to ten. But if you haven't got a number track at home, why don't you use a piece of chalk? Maybe you've got some room outside in your yard and you could draw the numbers one to ten outside to help you. Or even if you've not got a piece of chalk, why don't you just simply use a piece of paper? You could write your own number line to help you. Why don't you have a go? your number lines now so let's practice counting from one to ten are we ready let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten well done everybody so we've counted forwards but what can we not forget now let's go backwards are we ready Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Well done. Okay, everybody, fantastic counting. So for this next activity, what you're going to need is a dice. Now, hopefully you've got one at home, either in your board games, or if not, you could maybe print one off the internet. So, what I want you to do is, using your number track again, I want you to roll the dice, and then it'll show us the different amounts on each side of the dice. And then we're going to jump to that number on the number line. Are you ready? Right, let's go. So let's roll the dice. Oh, can we all see what it's showing? It's showing the number. Let's count. One, two, three. Yeah, right. Let's count to that number on the number line. Let's go. One, two, three. Woo, we made it. Right, I want you to repeat that, guys. Do it with the people at, your ha at home. Or it might be you've got a brother or sister at home that you want to practice it with. So I want you to roll the dice. I want you to count the spots. And then I want you to jump to that number on the number line. Over to you. Oh, well done, everybody. That was some fantastic counting. Now, for some of you, you might want to carry on practicing counting in ones up to ten. But don't forget going back again. Some of you might want to practice counting in twos. Carry on practicing that at home for the next week. Now, some of you, I think you want more of a challenge. So we're gonna start looking at numbers beyond 10, okay? Okay, everybody. So for this next activity, what you're gonna need is some Deans. And remember, they should be in your pack that have come home. And you're gonna need a dice. Okay, everybody, so let's get going. So, as I mentioned, you're gonna need to have your Deans equipment here. You're gonna need your tens, and you're also going to need your ones. Now, let's do a little bit of practice regarding Deans. Now, can you remember the value of these? Now, these big, long rods, can anybody remember? Yeah, well done, guys. So, the value that these Dean rods is a 10. Shall we have a go at practicing counting in tens? So bring your Dean to one side and I want you to line up your Deans and let's practice counting in 10. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 
40. Oh, 50. 60. 70. 80. 90. 100. Shall we practice in tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Well done, guys. Now, if you want to do a little bit more practicing at home with this, what you could do is you could group your deans together. So, can we make 30? 10, 20, 30. Can we count in tens again? 10, 20, 30. Now you might want to practice a little addition here. 10, add 10, add 10, equals a total of 30. Have a go at practicing with different amounts. Over to you. Everybody. So you've all shown that you've been able to count in tens from 10 to 100. But now we're going to start looking at numbers from 0 to 100, but any number. Now we're going to carry on using the same equipment. So out of your learning packs, I want you to get out your deans and you're going to need your tens and your ones for this one. OK, so we talked about how the value of each of those rods is 10 and we've just counted in tens. And the value of these ones is just ones. OK. So let's have a go at looking at some place value. So what I want you to do now is I want you to pick up a dice and let's make it a little bit more exciting. I want you to roll the dice and that should give you a digit. So you should be given with the digit five. So what I want you to write is five. OK, let's roll it again. Oh, what's it going to be? Oh, we've got the number. So, now we've got a number made up of two digits, a five and a three. Hmm, let's see if we can make this number. So, we know that when we have a two-digit number, the value of the first digit isn't actually a five, it's actually a 50, because it's made up of five tens. Can you count out five tens? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five tens is equal to 50. Now, can we do the same for the ones? So how many ones have we got? Yeah, well done, we've got three. So can you find three ones? One, two, three. Fantastic, everybody. So the number 53 is made up of 50 and three more. Well done. Now, how else can we show that number? What else can we use? Let's have a look. Can we show that number using a number line? So, on here, we talked about this 50 first of all. So can you find the number 50? Well, we've counted in tens. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's put a little dot here. And then we need three more. Can you practice counting up? 51, 52, 53. So here we've got 53. Well done, everybody. How about with some place value tokens? And I know you've got those at home. Okay, so I think we're going to need some tens. Can you remember how many tens we need? Well done, everybody. We need five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five tens. And what else do we need? Super. We need three ones. One, two, three. It's exactly the same as the Deans. Now, 
I want you guys to have a go on your own at home. Using a dice, can you roll two digit numbers? And can you can you partition them partition them using your place value tokens? Using the deans, and then can you have a go at using expanded edition to show the place value of each digit? Okay, everybody, well done. Now, if you guys want a little bit more of an extension, what you can start thinking about now is you can start to use your hundreds, okay? Because I know some of you have been working on three-digit numbers and more. So exactly the same kind of activity I want you to look at, but using your dice, I want you to roll it a third time to make a hundred digit, okay? So let's roll it again. Ooh, what could it be? It's going to be a five again. So this time we're going to need to edit our place value table a little bit, aren't we? Because we know that if we're looking at three digit numbers, we're going to need a third column. Now, can you remember the value of this third column? Oh, let's think. Well, I think if I'm remembering rightly, the value of it is a hundred and I want five of them. Okay. So I'm going to need five of these big squares. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got five hundred and fifty three. So I've changed on my place value table. I've changed it with my deans. Now I just need to change it with my place value tokens. I just need five more hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put them in my hundreds. And then I think I should be right. 553. Over to you guys. Okay, everybody, well done. We're nearly there. So one last little activity that you could do at home in order to kind of support your learning of place value is an activity with some toys that you might have at home. Now, I'm sure that you recognise these. They're just regular Lego pieces. And what I want you to do is just get your box of Lego out and they can help with the next activity. So for some of you that are maybe uh, just wanting to practice your counting, it might be that you just want to find your Lego bricks and you just want to practice finding uh, pieces in order to help you count. OK, so you might want to order them from from smallest and then you might want to find a bigger piece. And then it might be that you want to count the number of spots on your Lego pieces. Now, for some of you that are working on two digit numbers, you might want to find two pieces of Lego. So remember, we talked about value of the digits, so we could have a four and we could also have a six. And then thinking about our place value and our tens and our ones, I want you to have a go at telling me the value of the digits. So we've got, if you can see it, we've got four little spots. So we know that the value of the tens is 40. And then the same with the ones, we've got six little spots. So we know we've got 40 plus six, which gives us 46. Why don't you guys have a go? And actually, some of you that might want an even bigger challenge, you could actually make the three digit numbers, couldn't you? What's the value of these hundreds? We've got two, four, six, eight. 846. Why don't you have a go at home? Over to you. Oh, well done, everybody. A massive congratulations for logging on today and doing the first YouTube maths lesson. Now, don't forget to carry on practicing your place value at home this week. Remember, you needed a dice to play the first game, number tracks and everything else is through the post. 
We'll see you again next week. Bye.